In my last video, I gave you five reasons on why you should be living in London, Ontario. So if you want to see that video, click the link in the top right corner. However, as you well know, no place is perfect, and that is also true for London, Ontario. In this video, I'm going to give you the five top reasons not to live here. And be sure to stick around for the last one, as it will change your mind. My name is Brett Ballas, and the reason I decided to make this channel is that whenever my wife and I visit a new place, we always get excited and want to live there. We will compare cities from all over the world to decide when and if we should make a move. It will also give you information if you are considering vacationing or moving to a new city or town. What are five reasons not to move here? Number one, homelessness. With upwards of 1,800 people using city services like shelters, warm weather brings more people to live outside in tents or on the streets. Walking downtown, it's easy to find people just hanging around or shooting up drugs, especially on Dundas Street. Now my wife and I have never been threatened by any of the homeless downtown while walking there, but when someone's on drugs, it's hard to predict if they'll become aggressive. And you really have to be careful when you or your family walk downtown or in the nearby parks, as discarded needles can be anywhere. I just want to reiterate again that the homeless issue is complex. These are people who have lost their jobs, maybe got addicted to drugs, or suffer from poor mental health. Now the City of London has many programs to assist them, and a safe injection site downtown helps those with addictions, but it's definitely a continuing effort. Let's just say they deserve our empathy. Number two, transportation. Getting around London can be a major pain. There's no rapid transit or light rail. London doesn't have any highways running through town, so a lot of times, depending on the time of day, you will get stuck in traffic if you live here. And the endless traffic lights and the long trains which come through on the two main railway lines in the downtown core don't help. There just isn't any fast way to get from one end of London to the other. So when you end up driving here, it's stop and go traffic. Some days during the high peaks of car travel, you can literally stop at every light. So you need to give yourself extra time to get to your destination. And no one likes the stress of getting delayed, especially when you work. Now I realize the traffic isn't as bad as a city like Toronto, but with everyone moving here, it will only get worse. Number three, high rent. Well, not as expensive as some of the bigger cities, if you're looking to rent here rather than buy a place, you'll be in for a shock. The average rent for a one bedroom apartment here is $1,412, according to Zumper, an online site for renters. A recent city report indicates that a single worker must work 19 days every month in order to afford a two bedroom apartment in London, Ontario, which is clearly not cost affordable when you're only making so much money. Number four, run down downtown. I walk around downtown, you'll see a lot of places for lease are boarded up. Businesses just don't want to open downtown anymore. Blame the move to the suburbs by people and the homelessness crisis, but the city really looks dead. Now the city has been successful in its attempts to revitalize the downtown, like the development of the Budweiser Gardens, which is a sports entertainment center. It hosts the London hockey team and has shows like Russell Peters or Randy Bachman and Burton Cummings. But take a look further down the street at the city plaza. This mall was supposed to help drive people to shop downtown, but when you take a walk inside, you'll see a ghost mall with very few tenants. Number five, cold winters. If you aren't a big fan of winter, be prepared for lots of cold days that stretch from November until May. Now there are lots of sunny days in winter with little snowfall here, but just when you think spring has finally come, you'll get more snow like this day shown here in April. Now we know we should be outside skating or skiing here during the winter, but the freezing temps would definitely keep us inside with warm cups of tea and Netflix. This cold weather is definitely not for us. So have you been to London, Ontario? Would you choose to live here or not? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit subscribe and press the bell so you don't miss my next video. When we visit a city where there are so many amazing restaurants, you can enjoy new meals every day. Plus never run out of things to do for entertainment. And if you're still thinking about living in London, here's more of a slow train that you'd have to wait for. Be sure to check out these cities by clicking the links here.